Tomorrow, the East High School class of 1979 will honor their fellow classmate, Granville Waiters. Waiters is a former Ohio State basketball and NBA star. He died last month at the age of 60. Tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon spoke with some who knew Waiters and his impact beyond the court. He stood six foot 11, but his touch on life stretched so much farther. Grandville, Grandville Waiters <laughs> title. I don't know what to say on that one. A Buckeye legend, NBA player, a community hero. When I had found out, I actually had texted him probably like an hour and a half before then. Everybody is taking it rough. The community is taking it rough. Uh, there's a lot of love out there for him. Waiters died unexpectedly in March. His death still shocking to Brian Wolford, head coach of the East High men's basketball team. The same team Waiters led to a state title in 79. The two later coached together, a dream Wolford described. Always kind of looked down towards the end of the bench where he always sat. They can hear the voice saying, hey man, you got to keep playing, keep your head up, you know, play, play harder. We miss him, like I don't know if you can, that ever be replaced. Waiters took over the court while playing at OSU, then would go on to do what so many young boys dream about, playing in the NBA against and with some of the most famous figures playing with the Pacers and teammates like Clark Kellogg. People that interacted with him felt good about their interaction and oftentimes um, felt better about themselves. Kellogg, now a college basketball analyst, says his first interaction with Waiters was as an opponent in the 79 state championship. Later, the two became roommates at OSU. But Kellogg says it's what he did off the court that matters most. His heart for young people helping um, those transitioning from incarceration. And he did it authentically and consistently. And when you think of Columbus, Waiter's name isn't far behind. A man many will celebrate. He's done everything that a lot of these kids dream of, but yet they see him right back here helping, showing you that you can do it too. Respect and love for each other. And that um, makes the memory sweet and his loss sad. Reporting in Columbus, Richard Solomon, 10 TV News. Definitely a loss for our community. We are told that there are plans to retire Granville Waiters High School number, number 33.